feel like a bit of milk in your tea or a bit of yogurt on your porridge for breakfast, then I can highly recommend making friends with a goat. Brenna Quinlan, goat expert extraordinaire. What do goats need to be happy? <laughs> Lots of food and pack. And in return? This is the real price of milk. We're gonna make yogurt. I like to measure out how much milk I want. So this is a jar of yogurt that I wanna make, just so I get the right quantity. And then we're going to heat that up, bring it up to 80 degrees. And the reason you don't wanna bring it any higher is that it will boil over. You can tell it's 80 because it's got some bubbles happening. And we wanna cool it to 40 degrees. Sink full of cold water, takes about 10 minutes. I tend to heat up and cool down my milk with the lid on because that stops it from forming that skin on top. While your milk's cooling down, we're going to heat up some water. Are you going to bed, Bren? <laughs> no, I'm going to keep my yogurt warm. Cozy. Now our milk's at just about 40 degrees, which it's hot but not too hot to touch. Cha, sure, look at that. And then the secret ingredient. We put in a spoon of yogurt. You can buy this if you don't have any yogurt or if you're making yogurt, save a little bit from the last batch. This will start off the cultures doing their thing. There you go, off to sleep. Now, sweet dreams. <laughs> there are lots of different types of yogurt beds. Some people fill up an esky with hot water or you can um, put it in a warm spot. Just make sure it's not on a sunny windowsill. If it is, wrap it up. Or you can put it in your oven on a really low heat, maybe after you've baked. And Homemade yogurt. 